Gears of War, you fucking fag. Okay, so Gears of War is a game that takes place in a magical world where everything is gray. The first game goes as follows. You are a guy named Marcus. Your Hispanic friend breaks you out of prison and you kill albinos together. The end. There's a black guy. So naturally, this masterpiece of literature spawned a sequel, which really ramped up the writing factor. Okay, so your Hispanic friend's wife has been kidnapped by the albinos. Remember her from the first game? So do I. That's why I described her so vividly in my description of it. You kill some albinos, you blow shit up, and eventually you go underground. And then you see a giant worm. And the worm is eating cities, so you kill the worm with your chainsaw. And then you go to a laboratory for no reason, and it is Marcus's dad's laboratory. I was always super interested to know more about Marcus's dad, and wish that he was a character in the series. Thankfully, my prayers were answered when Marcus's dad somehow became conveniently relevant. This game is so amazingly fucking rich. So anyway, you go underground to the albino stronghold, and you find your amigo's wife. And she's all fucked up, so he shoots her. And cries. Like a fucking bitch. And then they go into the albino stronghold and find the albino queen. And she's hot for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, there is this city called Jacinto, and the albino queen is like, We're going to blow up Jacinto. Now, blowing up a city is a pretty bad thing, I'll give you that, but it's also fucking manly as shit. So Marcus, no joke, says pretty much verbatim, Not if we sink it first. And then they fly away on their giant magical octopus bugs. What the fuck am I playing? So they get back to Jacinto. Fucking stupid. And then they ride a giant albino T-Rex and blow it up or something. Now, you may be asking yourself, how possibly could anything wrap up this masterpiece of writing? Well, Epic thought the same way, so they hired a novelist to write the third game. And let me just tell you, it certainly does justice to the Gears of War canon. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it really doesn't. Okay, so the game starts off and you're on a boat, and then the glowy things from- Wait, what? Okay, apparently the part where the main enemies became giant plant things that grow out of the ground and then regurgitate glowing monsters was not nearly important enough to warrant any type of explanation at all whatsoever. Marcus is dead! <sighs> okay, so it turns out Marcus's dad is still alive. Oh, oh boy. boy. And the Gears of War have to cross the Earth to find him. I don't want to fucking play this. Can I just kill myself? Now, since this was written by a super good writer who writes novel books, Gears of War now has a deep and epic mythology. There is now girl Gears of Wars. One of them doesn't talk, and the other one talks a lot, but contributes absolutely fucking nothing to the plot, but she's a minority and has an accent, so... That's something. So then there's a part where you play as the black guy and you do nigger things like play football. Don't worry, that doesn't last too long. Then you kill some albinos and then there's some bullshit where the queen of the albinos flies in on a giant horse fly just to fucking mad dog Marcus. I'll just let that sink in. The queen of a whole entire race has nothing fucking better to do than shoot angry looks at random foot soldiers. You guys know there's books of this too, right? And then you get on a blimp and fly it to this place where you meet the most irrelevant characters of the whole fucking game. Some old dude and some old lady. You defend their stronghold. Yeah, you defend that fucking stronghold, you fucking bitch! And then you team up with this Texan guy who was in the second game, but he didn't fucking matter, so whatever. Now he's the plot device that keeps everything moving. I think he actually is more relevant to the story of this game than fucking Marcus is. Speaking of things that are very irrelevant to this story, you guys remember Marcus's Hispanic friend? Well, they go to his hometown and find that the people make into glowy things, and then he dies heroically. Except it's stupid, and he wasn't really doing much anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, it plays Mad World. That makes everything fucking sad, right? Okay, there's some bullshit with these Ash guys, and then there's some stupid crap in there, and there's a bit with a submarine, and it was all really fucking gay. Let's just skip to the fucking part where they find Marcus's dad, the best character ever fucking written in anything at any point in time. Okay, so they go to Marcus's dad island and kill a bunch of albinos. Basically, they find Marcus's dad and it's all very touching. And by very touching, I mean completely hollow. And Marcus's dad basically says that the fucking yellow lava shit that's been in the background through all these games 
is now a parasite and it makes things into the glowy things. What a fucking twist. The stuff that the glowy things literally bleed causes things to turn into the glowy things. Okay, so whatever. Marcus's dad builds like this big EMP thing that will basically kill all the glowy things and all of the locusts. Oh, by the way, the albinos are called locusts. Wow, way to tell me that now, asshole. And then the albino queen comes out on her horse fly and it shoots lasers out of its eyes. And then Marcus's dad sets off the thingy majigger and it kills everything and then he dissolves for some reason. And then the albino queen says some stupid shit, and then Marcus stabs her. And then everything is okay, and then one of the girl Gears of War touches Marcus's arm. Fuck, that's hot. Wait, was she supposed to be the love interest? When the fuck did that happen? What the fuck is going on in this stupid piece of shit game? I wanna read books of this! Marcus's dad! Oh, <laughs>